Thanks to the efforts of Cao Cao's loyal blade, Zhang Liao, the defenses at Hefei held firm. With the immediate threat removed, it was the perfect chance to advance from Hanjiang toward Yi. However, much to everybody's surprise, Cao Cao instead returned home to Xuchang. There was tremendous speculation as to the reasoning behind his actions. Was he focusing on building up his domestic strength? Or perhaps he was wary of the threat posed by Guan Yu in Jing? Or perhaps Cao Cao's health was fading and he could no longer participate in a drawn-out military campaign. Meanwhile, seeing Cao Cao's absence as an opportunity, Xu advanced on Hanjiang. There, the Wei generals Xia Hu Yuan and Zhang He stood guard over the summit of Mount Dingjuin. Whatever Cao Cao's true intent was, it was hidden by his sudden withdrawal from the front lines. And it would not be known until the victor of this battle had been decided. Come, boy! You... you haven't beat me yet! No when to give up, old man. Take him away. Fort South South's forces are here! <sighs> My lord. I hope what we have achieved will please him. if you can come on it breaks now So Shaho Yuan has fallen. My lord, I eagerly await your order to attack. Very well. Cut open a path to Mount Tian Dong and secure our escape route. What? Cao Cao, what did you just say? We shall withdraw from this battle. It is pointless for us to try and reclaim what we have lost. But what about avenging Yuan's death? Go. Zhang He. As you command! Yuan. Ugh. Cao Cao. Why? the momentum. Even the taking of Mount Tiandong will prove to be difficult. We must secure the escape route as quickly as possible. There is no time to be wasted on seeking revenge. My lord. I'm counting on you. Don't let me down. I just don't know what to say to Lord Shaho Dwin. My lord, we must avenge the general. I hope Lord Guo Huai is all right. He seemed to take the news very hard. Does our lord intend to just abandon Han Zhong? Then the general will have died in vain. General. General. Oh. I know it must be even worse for you, my lord. This pallor of doom. It reminds me of the time Dian Wei died. General. 
How can our lord stay so calm at a time like this? Does our lord intend to... Maintain focus at all times. That's my mantra. I feel bad for young Shaho Ba. He has lost his father. He said something like, I can't just wallow in grief, and took up his battle position already. If only his bow hadn't broken. What a curse of luck. Everyone prepare to move out! Understood. General, I hope that you will watch over me in this battle. All their best men are gathered in the center. If we can break through them, we should seize control of the battle. General, your proud spirit will live on in my breast. The heavens have answered. We thank you for coming. Difficult spot. Urgent news! Machau has taken the southern garrison. Zhong Hu, you must prevent that at all costs. Up your training and you'll eventually win battles. I move with a certain elegance. <laughs> 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 Retreat! This is not the end! As always, my victories are teamed with a hint of beauty! I move with a certain elegance! The center has been secured. All forces, march upon Mount Tiandong. Neither my heart nor my spear have broken. We shall meet again. If we advance any further, we'll all be cut down. I will draw the enemy's attention. You must sink into the garrison and destroy that ballista. Wang Zhong's forces have arrived from the west. Wang Hu, get rid of Wang Zhong at once.
Report. The Allied main camp is under heavy attack. Grateful for your efforts. Report! The Allied main camp is about to fall. It is requesting immediate assistance.
Fight me now! For glory! We are at a stark disadvantage. We could use some reinforcements. This one is 
Just a roll. I guess I need to pick up the pace. Stand your ground and face me. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. As always, my victories are tinged with a hint. Preparations for our retreat are complete. We must not waste more lives. Guan Yu has moved upon Fan Castle. We have lost Han Zhong. But at least we have drawn him out. As agreed, you must draw up an alliance with Sun Quan. My lord. You... You just threw away Han Zhong? Threw away my cousin's life? Shaho Yuan's death was not planned. But if it enables us to kill Guan Yu, then he would have been happy. You! Our lord wanted to retreat and prepare for Guan Yu's attack. But he has allowed me to launch an offensive. He does not wish General Yuan's death to have been in vain. I can sense the sorrow that I know he is feeling. It had all been a ruse to lure out Guan Yu. The Province of Jing. In the Age of the Three Kingdoms, it was one of the most important strategic locations in the land. And as long as the brave Guan Yu stood guard there, it was a threat to both Wei and Wu. So Cao Cao had feigned an opening so that Xu would attack. And just as he had predicted, Guan Yu came north and attacked Wei's stronghold of Fan Castle. All of this was an elaborate plan to topple the mighty Shu warrior. To realize this plan, he had sacrificed the lands of Han Zhong as well as his trusted lieutenant Shaohu Yuan. However, Cao Cao had no regrets. For Shaohu Yuan had chosen his duty knowing that it would help lead his master to his ultimate goal of conquest. With what little life Cao Cao had remaining, he knew he must move to secure his legacy. He instructed Sima Yi and his men to work together with Wu in order to defeat Guan Yu. He could not show the slightest hint of his sadness at the loss of his right-hand man, nor of his own weakened state due to illness. At last... The price of Cao Cao's ambition had nearly caught up with him. I have to kill Guan Yu. We will work with Wu to kill him. There is no need for you to go. Did you think I didn't know about your illness? We don't have time to sit idly by and wait for Wu to move. Guan Yu's defeat will bring our rule closer, but it is not the end of the road. Before you die, I will at least show you a glimpse of your dream. Don't worry. I'll finish this. You made it in time, Shaho Twin. The Wu army has yet to arrive. I will kill Guan Yu. I don't need Wu for that. We must rescue our men in Xiongyong. It is vital to this battle. 
If it falls, we are done. Guan Yu from seizing the castle. That noise! The attack on Xiong Yong was nothing more than a decoy. The central gate has been breached! Shu forces have infiltrated Fan Castle! Sao wins aid. Guan Yu appears to be in a hurry to end this. Sao Ho Duan, my father has great respect for you. But fate dictates we must be adversaries. I lead our arms. I cannot allow you to be Your time is up. Lords Dong Hong and Dong Chao have been wiped out, and Lord Eugene's unit has taken major damage. You insist on standing in my lord's way. This one is heroic. I guess I need to pick up the pace. The Wu army is advancing from the Changjiang. Lord Xu Huang's unit has also arrived as backup. Excellent. Guan Yu will have no choice but to turn back. While Guan Yu still lives, I will not be satisfied. Will this rain ever stop? Lord Manchong is a wily veteran of battle. His cunning will be invaluable in keeping the castle safe. Impressive, Lord Sha Ho Dwin. I know our Lord will be most pleased with your efforts. No, for there is still much left that needs to be done. I must have my revenge, or else Cao Cao will never be able to rest. Xu is desperate. They're probably calling for reinforcements as we speak. 
Guan Yu will not be expecting Wu's betrayal. It will surely have a large impact on Xu's morale. Lord Sima Yi is wise beyond his years. He will lead way to future glory. I feel safe beside Lord Cao Ren. He's like a big shield protecting us all. I heard Lord Cao Cao is unwell. Victory will be the best medicine for him. You know who I liked? Man Chong. He was the one who convinced Lord Xu Huang to join us. I'm sure Lord Cao Cao knows how you feel, my lord. You are the only one who can claim Guan Yu's head, my lord. You have our undying support. We have had enough grief for one lifetime. You must come back safely, my lord. I know how you feel, my lord. But we really should let Wu chase after Guan Yu. Wu is as fickle as the autumn sky. At Cherbi, they sided with Liu Bei. Well, I'm glad of it now. It gives us a chance to kill Guan Yu. Lord Xu Huang's presence fills me with renewed confidence. I am sorry to have kept you waiting. I appreciate your patience. The water has receded. I'm so glad. I can't swim. Will this rain ever... In Finally, the water levels have subsided. Guan Yu has broken through our siege and begun his escape. However, it is too dangerous for us to give chase. We simply need to leave the pursuit up to Wu, so we can focus on strengthening the defenses at Fawn Castle. No. If anybody is to slay Guan Yu, it is to be me. Very well. Then I wish you luck, my friend. Guan Yu is in Jiangling. That is where I must go. I will not try to stop you. But I do not want your recklessness to compromise the lives of us. We must reinforce the defenses at Xiangyang first. We will attack Guan Yu after us. Fight me now! For glory! of the Shu army is moving to the northwest. It appears to be headed for Fang Lei. Hmm. They're calling for reinforcements, no doubt. Our defensive placements are sound. It is time to move upon Guan Yu. I know you wish to pursue Guan Yu. not necessarily to lose. Another victim has fallen before me. You did reasonably well. I'm sure your efforts will inspire my men. You think you can outsmart me? Don't make me laugh. Don't display! Find you to dust! You will learn to 
regret this moment. Another victim has fallen before. Ghost in flame! I have very high standards to live up to, being the son of the God of War. My lord, the catapult has been completed. Good. Transported to the high ground north of Jiang. My lord. Our catapult is under attack from the Shu army. They must be attacking from near that signal tower. It would be wise to secure that first. Your time is up. Now. You're out here all alone? I welcome such carelessness in the ranks of my enemy. Retreat! This is not the end! Another victim has fallen before. on high ground. We are ready to begin bombardment of Jiangling. Ni Feng of Shu is defected to the Wu. The castle has been thrown into chaos. This is our chance. We must strike now and seize the castle. I'll grind you to dust! When I heard Wu Shuren have defected, I made up my mind. I too will fight the Wu from now on. Fight me now! For glory! Reasonably well. I'm sure your efforts will inspire me. Dust. 
time is up. The central gate is open. We must enter the castle and claim Guan Yu's head. I must retreat. This is not the end. This land belongs to me now. My father, you will not ask me. Don't disagree. You believe your wits are a match for mine? Your time is up. I bring news. Guan Yu has entered my castle. This land belongs to me now. with my brother lies through you. Legendary might and your loyalty to your brothers will go down in history. But I hated you with all my being. It's over, Cao Cao. Guan Yu fell at the hand of Shao Duin. Without their pillar of strength, Chu lost the will to fight, their power quickly fading. Wu, having won the land of Jing, was now deeply indebted to Wei. Throughout it all, Cao Cao had maintained Wei's dominant position and forged a path toward a new age. Then, Six months after the death of Guan Yu, Cao Cao would at last find peace and tranquility, following his long journey of cruelty and ambition. Wu should be placated by the fact that much of Jing province has been returned to them. 
Once we eliminate Shu, they won't be able to offer any resistance. You need your rest. Just leave it be. Hm. You're right. It is time for my path of conquest to end and for me to meet my destiny. Xiao Dwin. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. <laughs> what nonsense is this? Dian Wei, I can finally tell you I'm sorry. Xiao Yuan, forgive me. And so, Cao Cao left this earth. Upon succeeding his father, Cao Pi demanded that the Han Emperor relinquish the throne. And with the Emperor no longer possessing the authority to oppose him, Cao Pi became the Emperor of Wei. After all Cao Cao had done to protect the Han Emperor, his son Cao Pi did away with him in a mere instant. Perhaps this was an effort by the son to finally eclipse the father, or Perhaps it was something else. There was not a single soul alive who could know Cao Pi's true intentions. Long live the Emperor! Long live the Emperor! Long live the Emperor! Long live the Emperor! Long live the Emperor. Yi, fine work. I thank you. My lord. You still have much to do in the days to come. Of course. I have to build us all a new land. I am not like my father. The world I create will not be like his. But I will say this. My father laid the foundations, and now I will build upon them.